I guess. I'm gonna keep mine pretty general. Um, you guys did very, I was impressed. Um, the witnesses specifically, I, you'll notice I did not have, very, very rarely did I have something bad to say. You guys did a very good job of getting into your characters, staying in them, and answering the questions that they were asking, but doing a very good job of still sticking to your main points. You weren't, yes, or you didn't just answer no right away. You didn't, you elaborated, which is really good because it means you know your information, so I commend you for that because I presume you guys have long affidavits to memorize. Um, for the attorneys, uh, watch, watch when they make an objection. I noticed, and it was quite blatant, that you were telling them when to object and kind of giving them their argument that they should be making. Um, you guys should know that. Uh, it's, it was kind of distracting, especially if you don't know why you're arguing a specific thing. He, the judge is less likely to side with you. So definitely, definitely know your rules and know why you need to make an objection and make the right objection. Um, other than that, you guys definitely had very good speaking skills. You, you came across as very, very well spoken, and you emphasized all the right points. Like you had, you raised your voice a little bit and showed emphasis on your key points, so that I knew and other people in the courtroom knew exactly what points you planned on making. So, uh, other than that, I didn't know. Are there empty rules about where you're supposed to stand when you're questioning? No. no. Because what I noticed was when the plaintiff had a witness on the stand, you folks generally stood over to the left of the table, close proximity to the jury. You folks acted like they had the play <laughs> and stood over here. And I'm wondering why you're keeping such distance between yourselves and the other party's witnesses. That's on purpose. It's to make it hard for the witness to look at the jury box. You want the attention on you, not on the jury. During cross-examination, it's, it's, it's more of a tactic to keep the witness focused on you, and then that way they can't communicate to the jury. And then during direct examination, standing closer to the jury so the witness is attention. Difficulty with that is if you get into trial practice, you have to realize that the reason people are on jury, pardon me, no offense, is that they're on jury because they can't figure out how to get out of jury. <laughs> yeah, um, <it's> true. <laughs> so they need their hands held through everything. And if I'm one of the blue-haired women from Worthington that tend to serve in the jury pool in Franklin County because they have nothing better to do because they have blue hair, um, <laughs> I would wonder why there's such a divide. It's like you don't want to be in any close proximity to those individuals. And I find that off play personal. Um, I have a hard time hearing you sometimes, ma'am. So, find your voice. You seemed mad when the, when, the, when the police officer was up on the stand. The first thing you said to him, you, you paced over, you stood, and you said to him, and I wrote it down. No, I, I write these things down. You arrived at the house. <laughs> and you just, you like just watched, well. okay, I might add a little bit of inflection to it. But you just started writing, you arrived at the house at. It seemed like you were annoyed with him for some reason. At least that's how it came through to me. Um, I'm just trying to go a little hard, sorry. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't, I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, there's some bad blood here. Oh, you know, yeah. the, the police officer. Did you get what I mean? Now he recognizes you. I was, I was just trying to figure some of this out. Um, the attorneys, when you got your clients up on the stand, and this is more so for the plaintiff's side, you you go you come out like you're going off of a script. This is what I'm going to ask. This is what they're going to say. Now I must ask this, okay? They said, now I must ask this. When you have your witnesses up on the stand, it needs to be a conversation, not, not a scripted activity. Um, you were a little too laid back, I thought, with the hands in the pockets. Um, you had 
your witness up on the stand. You asked how they were. They said uh, they're pretty good. You just sort of like, yeah, all right. And then just, just a little too informal, I thought. So just be cautious with that. Okay. Um, there's something else I wrote here. I kind of circle things. I'm not sure what gender Jesse Durant is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it kept going back and forth, even with the same attorney between and masculine and feminine pronouns. So I'm not certain whether it was a boy or a girl. I, I, I don't it think that's it. Maybe we should call this a sister. Um, I believe that one would. What's that? I believe that one would. Okay, okay. I just, I just wrote it down. I put a circle around what genders. Um, I think the themes are okay your virtual executions. I had a hard time with yours at the very beginning. Deceit, disregard, and I could not understand if you said are a dangerous combination or am a dangerous combination. Okay, so there were three things that you were going for. Because I'm thinking deceit, disregard, are a dangerous combination, which in my puny brain makes sense. There are two things, it's a dangerous combination. But there's a third element in there, okay. Okay, just be a little bit more clear when you enunciate that at the very beginning so that I know. Like I said, I'm not too worried. Um, and I think that's... Where was the safe? In the parents' bedroom closet. In a closet? Okay. Okay. I just couldn't figure it out. Did that, did that not come through through anybody? Nope. No, I, 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 was, I was trying to jump in. I was talking, I'm trying to keep track of a couple different things. What you all are saying, and then whether or not you're saying anything wrong. Um, and if I make mistakes, that's what appellate courts are for. <laughs> Trust me, it keeps them in business. Um, that's it for me. I think you, yeah. I got, I got.